Thinking beyond growth. Looking beyond growth. Going beyond growth. The shape of human progress is not an ever rising line of growth. Nothing in nature tries to grow forever. We need to learn to live in balance. When we talk about growth, we're not talking about an improvement in well-being, in innovation or social progress. We're talking very specifically about an increase in aggregate industrial production. We need to replace that and we need to learn to thrive within planetary boundaries. Looking beyond growth means allowing the true growth of living systems. That doesn't mean that we can't continue to learn, to evolve. It means we need to focus on a well-being economy. The economic model we've inherited comes out of centuries of thinking that more is better. It puts price at the center of our vision. It has continued to be the most powerful number with the highest justification for destroying every forest, every river, all land. The GDP metric that we presently use aggregates uh, good things and bad things together, right? So a thousand euros worth of uh, healthcare is worth the same, according to GDP, as a thousand euros worth of tear gas. In the middle of an ecological emergency, it's clearly madness. A tremendous amount of our energy and resources are basically devoted to supporting a kind of uh, over-consuming elite, which is socially unjust, but also deeply ecologically dangerous. Basically, the richer you are, the more you destroy the planet. But we don't bear the cost, because all these costs of being outsourced, shifted elsewhere in countries where a lot of needs are unmet. My life began with the Chipko movement, where the women said, these forests are not timber mine, just for profits. They are the sources of our soil and water and pure air. They are our mothers, we are going to protect them, we are going to hug the trees. We actually already have five well-being economies, the economy of New Zealand, Finland, Iceland, Wales and Scotland. All of these economies actually during COVID were much more resilient because they placed a measure on environmental indicators, on social indicators, as well as economic indicators. Go from unmet needs to well-being and then stop there but not continue to an exponential pattern that will make you overshoot planetary boundaries that will feed back into poverty for the people. So we need to stop listening and allowing for governments to push the growth. Let us instead organize our productive capacities around meeting human needs and improving well-being and ecological objectives directly.